Welcome to the Beverly Wilshire of Four Seasons Hotel. Today we're going to take a look in a one bedroom suite, the pool area, the spa, cut restaurant, and a whole bunch of other fun things that you'll find when you stay here. Hope you enjoyed and let us know. Welcome to the Beverly Wilshire of Four Seasons property. Today we're in a one bedroom suite uh, and we're going to ring the doorbell here and see what it's like. As you can see, the doors open mysteriously here. So we are here in the living area and we'll give you a sort of overview and then we'll dive into some detail. So this is a one bedroom suite and it is in the newer tower, which is nice because it has a balcony uh, and great views. There is a nice uh, work area here with a desk, um, a beverage center with ice, um, Lavazza machine. Uh, glasses, ice bucket. Uh, mini bar. I think that is probably uh, really nice as well. Uh, beverage fridge. And storage. The work area, uh, very modern, it's it's compact, uh, but looks comfortable enough. It would be great for a work call or uh, if you need to do some work. Uh, nice, tastefully put plugs there. Uh, great couch, and you know I love the, the decor and the design here. You'll notice these sort of thoughtful pieces uh, of, you know, sort of almost Picasso-esque type of art. And, um, this is a little bit more modern and uh, thoughtful. You'll see here your menus and information on all the things you can do. Now let's take a look at the view. Um, this is an amazing view. Um, looking, I believe, and you know, this is of course, we'll go outside in a moment and we'll get a better uh, idea of the view, but this is just sort of your preview. So um, this gives you an idea of uh, the scale of the room, uh, very comfortable. And we're gonna come back to a special, really special touch that uh, they did for us here. Uh, bedroom looks super comfortable. Uh, high ceilings, I'm going to guess these are, uh, I'm going to guess they're 12 or 14 feet. Um, a nice chase, really comfortable bedroom. Again, some nice pieces of art. Uh, let's go out on the terrace and take a look and see what that's like. Hmm. Or or maybe we'll do that in a moment. So let's take a look around the rest of the room. Now, I mentioned earlier, um, we'll, go, we'll go take a look at the uh, restroom here. So here you'll see a uh, lovely shower, bath, and in the shower, there is Frederick Molly. Uh, that looks pretty nice, I'm sure it is. Um, the vanity and all of that. Again, there's nice hand soap. Uh, and really very, everything comfortable for your stay. Uh, separated uh, area for the bathroom. And um, again, you know, nicely clad in marble, all well fitted, super neat, super clean, super comfortable. Now talking about um, other features, let's take a look at the closet. This one has a iron, ironing board, uh, safe. And uh, I'll show you some of the, one of my favorite features of anything here. Um, we are coming here for a, a taping, uh, a taping of one of our favorite shows, Big Brother. And um, we have here the Big Brother house. 
Uh, how many times are you ever going to see uh, this? This looks amazing. Uh, I'm going to say this house is uh, in danger of being evicted uh, into, my, into my plate pretty soon, but it looks uh, gorgeous. Wow. Um, and thank you to the concierge team. They are just amazing here. Uh, again, you know, comfortable seating area. And we're going to try now to go out on the terrace. And um, miraculously, it opened. So let's take a look at these views. Uh, these are just gorgeous views. As you see there in the distance, uh, that looks like downtown LA. Um, and I believe rather than just take a look at the pool, we're gonna go down, we're gonna take a look at a little bit of night pool. Uh, so hold on just a second, we'll come back to the room later. A little bit of night pool action. So. This is, this is a lovely cafe. We've seen people down here during the day. And here are the cabanas. Can we take a look? Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can take a look. Mm -hmm. This is your behind the scenes, Beverly Wilshire cabana look. Okay. I think I'm digging that. That'd be fun. And there it looks, uh, we'll, we'll pull back a little bit in a moment and we'll show you what it's like. Uh, during the daytime, you'll see there's a hot tub, workout area. And pool. Now, I'm going to share, I'm a big fan of this property, but the pool is largely ceremonial. Um, it is not particularly large, but it is beautiful. So plenty of great chairs to sit on. I'll give you an idea of what it looks like as you look up. Spa, workout center, workout center. A lot of working out. And like there's one from right to left. Looks like that's service. And then there's probably one, two, three, four, five, maybe six cabanas here. So Definitely not a bad way to spend an afternoon if you're looking for uh, an afternoon at the Beverly Wilshire and a really pretty pool area. Um, I think we've talked about these sunglasses. I think I need some of these. Here's some Beverly Wilshire swag. Here's the entrance to the spa. Uh, this spot, by the way, is uh, critically acclaimed. I'm not going to kid you. Um, it is obviously closed right now, but it was verified as one of the finest properties in the world by Forbes. So I don't know if you need more than that, but I, I certainly don't. So all of this is on the second level of the, um, the property, and uh, we will go up to the resort elevators right now. Here, you know, I believe we look over towards Santa Monica, and um, this is actually all of our terrace. So you'd have room to really have quite a party out here. Um, and again, uh, you know, I think we're looking over here at Century City. And um, immediately behind us, now we have again a view of the pool area, uh, which looks like fun. We'll check it out, we're on the 10th floor. Um, and I believe there is a spa and some other amenities down there, a hot tub, uh, all sorts of things to enjoy. Uh, again, you know, if you look here, this is a great terrace. You could have quite a party out here, actually. Uh, so who knows, who knows what will happen. Um, and then Wilshire is right behind us. Uh, again, looking out over uh, the city, gorgeous views, great breeze. Um, and let's go take a look back in the room. So finally, uh, again, you know, nice TV, great bed. Um, and you know, what else could I say? Uh, everything here is, is really first class and super comfortable. And uh, I, I can't speak highly enough of the Beverly Wilshire. So, uh, if you ever get a chance to check it out, please do. 
and um, you'll find it's it's actually not only featured in many movies and a lot of art, and has you know an amazing history, uh, but has an amazing present, and uh, that's something you can't often say of uh, hotels with a history. So, uh, a lot to like here. Good morning. We're in the Port Cochet here at the Beverly Wilshire, and this gives you an idea of how you will arrive and leave. You'll notice the various car services, as well as the Mibach, um, which looks pretty epic if you ask me. Uh, Rover, Cybertruck. As you can see, there's a fair amount of traffic, but this gives you an idea of how we go in and out. One of the great features of the rooms with balconies, particularly uh, a one-bedroom suite like this, is that you, in fact, can have breakfast on the on the balcony. And what a great way to wake up to LA, uh, looking out at the sun, having some nice food, uh, give you an idea of what that looks like here. Uh, I think it looks super fun. And again, you know, looking up the Century City uh, and out, and then, uh, of course, down, to the City of Angels. So a lot of nice things. Uh, as you'll remember, we've taken a look at the pool. I think we were there at night. We took a look at that. Um, it's not very big, but it's fun. And uh, again, to have breakfast on the, the patio like this, I think is super cool. So uh, let me know what you think about this. Uh, I will too. I'm not gonna have too long of a video now because it is time, in fact, for, for some breakfast. So. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll have more later. The elevators at the Beverly Wilshire. If you saw a pretty woman, they had one bench. Here we have two. Let's see what it's about. I'm going to like those benches. I really think that should be a more common feature in elevators. Beverly Wilshire's had many, many movies made here and lots of history. Uh, actually, one of the early ones was in 1928 when the hotel had just opened uh, in a film called Manhattan Cocktail. Here you can see uh, some of the initial uh, photos here. And um, the seats obviously changed a bit, uh, but not all that much, really. Um, there's obviously been a lot of growth. One of the great things about the Buffalo Wilshire, I think, is the fact that uh, while it has a great history and it celebrates that, uh, it's very much a hotel that lives in the present. Uh, you know, if you look here, a little bit more history is a putter that used to be, interestingly enough, let's see if we can get it for you. It is a branded Beverly Wilshire putter that they used to offer in the 80s for uh, golf things. Um, here you'll see various pictures of uh, guests and luminaries, uh, which you'll no doubt recognize. As well, you know, uh, Beverly Wilshire was known for hosting many uh, celebrities, past, present, and future. Um, so, a lot of good things to see here, and uh, hopefully, you enjoy this. I'll show you uh, this was a more recent. Uh, piece from when they celebrated their 70 first and put money into it and I think that's really a big part of the Beverly Wilshire story So I uh, hope you've enjoyed watching. Thanks so much. Welcome to Cut by Wolfgang Puck here at the Beverly Wilshire in Beverly Hills, California Just want to take you around a little bit now. There's actually a restaurant and a lounge side um, We just talked to them at the restaurant. They are going to uh, let us do a video So we're just going to show you around a little bit now one of the things here. Uh, this of course is a steakhouse uh, it's an amazing steakhouse, uh, and I say that even coming from uh, Chicago, where we have many good steakhouses. Um, as you'll see here, it has a modern uh, but comfortable aesthetic. Um, you know, there are uh, seafood options. Uh, the kitchen is amazing. Uh, the food is amazing. Uh, obviously, we're doing this off hours now, um, but wanted to just give you an idea of what's here. So some of the... Um, you know, there's really not a bad table here. Um, here, if you want to have a little bit more privacy, you can be over in this wing. There is, in fact, also a uh, private room. It's not available right now. Um, and uh, here is, I actually like it up here because you can sort of have your privacy and check things out as well as, um, you know, sort of overlook all the action, all the fun. Um, so 
Now, if you go in here in the restaurant, this is the main floor and, uh, you know, obviously very popular, very, um, you know, great food. I'll show you the menu in just a moment. As you can see, they're prepping in the kitchen right now, but they were kind enough to uh, let us come in here and just do a quick video. Um, open kitchen, uh, top quality food, but more than that, really uh, thoughtful, intuitive service. The sommelier Bo here is uh, one of the best I've met in my life, and uh, he's just an amazing, amazing guy. Um, I would, I would come for the wine, uh, come for the food, come for the service, and then you know maybe later in the day, uh, come over to the Cut Lounge. So again, this is where you would check in, and I'll show you the menu. Um, try to pause there for a moment, hold for a second. Okay. Now, to give you an idea of, to give you an idea of some of the uh, fun things over on the lounge side, uh, you can see um, some really, uh, you know, forty-year Elmore. That's a thirty-five. It is the forty. I don't think I've ever seen those in, in real life before. Um, I, I think we will. Keep it at that you can get an idea of what it's like inside there. Uh, it is closed right now. Um, again, here you'll see they actually have uh, their own whiskey for the Beverly Wilshire. Uh, that looks, uh, oh, I did not know that before. That's interesting. Uh, Macallan and all sorts of fun scotches and so forth. I'll just see if we can open this door. I'm going to guess it is locked. But again, you know, it just gives you an idea of what is around. And uh, I think you'll really enjoy this. I really recommend Cut. Uh, it's a great way to experience uh, the Beverly Wilshire and just a great night out. Thanks. And baby, this one is, this is to celebrate you, our friend, our friends in Chavos. First time out. Well, baby, next time you have to come join us. Chavos, one is at large. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. What an honor. What a, what a great experience. Thank you so much for letting me work for you. That would be great. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers.